Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back downtown Kedo Paphos. Guess what? We're in the harbour area, and guess what? Miss Ochingwa Siviala Booth, the most beautiful woman in the world, has returned. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And honestly, again, again, and again. My umbrella is a little bit flying, but it doesn't matter. Mr. Paul is going to buy me the new one. Correct? Again. There we are. Miss watching with Sylvia LaBeouf dancing and pirouetting on the harbour walls. Now, let's go and have a wiggle and a waggle because a lot of people want to know what's going on in the downtown Kedo Papos harbour. Well, there's a lot of big diggering going on and the mayor and all of his gumbarus are knocking seven bells out of the place but we've been promised that it's going to come back better, faster, stronger than Steve Austin, the six million dollar man, could ever have been. So, Miss Oching with Sivia LaBeouf, I invite you to come for a little walk in the downtown Kedo Papos harbour with me. It's not going to be a very romantic walk because, well, it's a bit of a mess. But anyway, here we go. Feast your eyes and digest. This is the downtown Kato Papos harbour on a rather damp slightly breezy January afternoon and there's an awful lot of big diggering been going on as you can see this is the King's restaurant well it was and they've knocked seven bells out of it as you can see and they're digging the channel down the middle here and they're gonna pop in some utilities and some other bits and bobs and God knows what else is gonna go on but when they come back in a couple of months we've been told that it's going to be all beautiful and all spectacular and all the restaurants will bounce back into life with your help, of course. Receive it. What a shame. All places around that we used to see are totally changed. What a shame. But we only hope that it's going to be much nicer than it, than it was before. Well, we hope so. They say a change is as good as a rest. That's what they say. But what I say is the lengths that the mayor and his gumbarrows will go to to get rid of me and her. I mean, what harm did we do to the area? So they've decided to destroy it. Feast your eyes and digest. Have a look at that. Now, as you can see, all of the front facades of the restaurants have been demolished. Now, there's debate here about what's actually going to go on, whether they're going to be allowed to rebuild the facades or not, we don't know. And there's a little blonde cat having a wander around, and he's thinking, what the hell is going on? I came down here for a nice bit of Sunday lunch, and, well, there's not a lot going on. Talking about cats, I wonder what's happened to Jello. Mr. Paul. Jello, leave the jello a bit. I don't recognize the places. You know my orientation. I don't know where am I, what size, and which size everything become. I don't recognize the places. Honestly, people, help me. There we are. Receive the booth, Marika. She's totally lost. So we'll try and point out for those of you who don't know where you are, perhaps you're lost as well. Right, what's that over there? That is the King's Restaurant, former King's Restaurant. This one, as we come down here, there was the kiosk. And then next door to that comes along what was the Pelican, next door to that, the Jalalamo, next door to that, say at the castle, and of course by last, but by no means least, on the very end, there was of course Stevie's. Now they're all gonna come back, so don't worry about that. The debate is what state they're gonna come back in. I mean, I've been told they're going to keep the old buildings and refurbish, well, refurbish all that and take it back to olden times, and that's where the restaurants and cafes are going to be. And then they're going to charge a rent to put tables and chairs outside, as they do with many other tourist places. So it's going to come back a little bit more organised, shall we say. The food will still be great, the drinks will be great, the atmosphere will be spectacular. And above all of that, the most beautiful woman in the world, Ms. Oching Grisivi Alabouf, will still be here. To be honest... I have to say, I like the weather. The weather 
is close to my heart. This is the weather I would like to be 365 days a year. But I'm apologizing to all the people who are booking the flight uh, from Great Britain to lovely sunny Cyprus. And it's not gonna be the expectations to be done. I'm afraid I, I'm only the one crazy woman who likes the weather to be like that. And I don't wish that weather for you to be on your uh, holiday vacation. Now, for those of you who may have noticed or not noticed, because we are creatures of habits, guess where we actually are. Does anyone actually understand where we are? Let me show you. The last oh. remaining little sign of our wonderful, wonderful little restaurant, the Bistro Gilalamo. So of all the places to stop, and I mean this from my heart now, we wiggled and waggled along here, and that's where we stopped because this is our favorite, favorite place. But don't worry, Andreas and Marius have told me they're gonna come back that little bit stronger and that little bit fitter, and they're gonna give you a great, great welcome in late spring, all the way through the summer. And we're gonna have a great, great time in downtown Kedopathos, in the harbour in particular. If you want to find us, well, the easiest place in the world to find us is in the Gilalamo. You only have to ask any of the members of staff in there what time do we frequent the place. And normally in the summer, you're going to find us in here at around about 7 o'clock because we do like the service, the cuisine, and on top of all that, the superstars that look after us very, very well. Receiving. I would never say that I'm standing around the Gelamo area but all the places you believe me or not look like each other and I just stopped here because probably definitely it's close to our two hearts and that's why I decided to stop here and say to you the very 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 good hello because this place we used to be uh, all the time. Uh, we used to invite all the people of our dearest fam family into this place. So, let's continue on our trek and then we will scan around and show you, well, the disaster zone known as the Cato Pathos Harbour. But we promise you, don't worry, put off the holiday till around about mid-March, end of March, and it's all going to come back lapping and kicking and listening and kicking and kissing everybody that's for sure it's a sad sad day to be honest to walk through this area and not to see any of our friends i mean where we are now normally we'd be having hugs and kisses this is with Jello. he is there Jello. he is mr jello, jello has heard that we're in town and he's come to say hello So he's lost his faith in the human beings because obviously most of them have deserted him and he's not getting fed. That's the problem. Mr. Jello, how are you doing? Do you remember us, young man? What a beauty. Absolutely beautiful cat. Gino. Truly is. Yeah. Well, Mr. this is what happens, Paul, isn't it? No one's feeding him. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go and get something to eat and I am going to get a little package of something and I'm going to bring it back to Jello because it's a shame. It's a true, true shame. We understand he is getting fed, but he's not getting the treats that he used to get. Jello. Okay. A long, hard winter for Mr. Jello, that's for sure. Jello has been forsaken. Well, that's what he's saying anyway. Now, cast your eyes all the way back. That's what's left of Stevie's. Of course, we understand if you're familiar with the area, that's what's left of Sevilla Castle, the Gelalamo, the Pelican, the King's Restaurant. But like I say, don't worry. When they come back, they're gonna come back that little bit stronger, that little bit refreshed and they're going to serve you all over again and you're going to have a great, great time. That is for sure. Now, superstar amongst superstars, there's a lady arrived with a can and she's brought some cat food. What a star amongst stars. Here she is. Look at that. She's hunting the cats. 
Look at that, absolute star. So this lady's understood that these cats are gonna to starve to death because the restaurants are closed. So witness some of the kindness and some of the generosity of some of the people in the area. Have a look at that. Because there's two or three other cats around here and uh, well, they're suffering because this is their home. And obviously the restaurants have gone. So not only were they getting fed well, but they were getting treated very, very well indeed. That's for sure. I think the lady's looking for something to put the food into, and that's a problem, obviously. Let's have a quick look around. Let's see if we can find something. There might be something. This is the harbour area to the rear of the restaurants, a little area that often people don't get to walk along because the restaurants are so busy. So that's the main harbour area to the boats just over there which takes you out to the Ocean Vision, the Super Jumbo Boat, the Jolly Roger. And then this is the little one that takes you out to some of the smaller cruising boats. For example, this one here, the Zorky. So that's a semi-submersible submarine with a glass bottom. So basically it's a very, very fancy glass bottom boat. So let's go and see what Grisidi's got to say. And we're gonna say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. Why not come back? for a little bit more of our madness and if you really really want to watch the channel grow please consider clicking through to our about page where you could buy us a coffee and we will convert that into cat food all through the month of january i promise you pacific you know i would like to say that every change it's going close to the best and i only wish by the arriving of you all the places around here is going to be much, much better and nicer for your welcoming, greatest welcoming to you all. And I believe that whole world is welcoming to you, especially the world of Cyprus. And I would like to tell you many, many thanks for you, for your time, for your great heart and for your belief that the life is only becoming to the best and not to the worst. We kissing you a lot and we loving you from the bottom of our hearts. We're gonna have a bit of a twirl for Dayman. There we are. Feast your eyes, Dayman. What do you think of that for an outfit? In fact, she's actually even got a dicky bow. Undo the coats, Miss Ochin, we see the alaboo. Let's have a look. She's all wrapped up. But in here, there is actually a little dicky bow. Have a look at that. Absolutely spectacular. It doesn't get much better. Especially for Dame Anne. There we are. Have a look at that. She's going to freeze her little what's-its off, that's for sure. Because it's a little bit chilly in downtown Bathos, that's for sure. Thanks for watching. Let's leave you with a view, not quite as good as watching Recibio Le Bouffe, but it is a spectacular view across the downtown Cato Pathos Harbour area. Thanks for watching.